How's it going folks? This is Bob, KK4DIV, and today I'm going to talk a little bit more about the Chameleon F-Loop antenna that I got about a week ago. Uh, the F-Loop antenna is put out by a company named Chameleon Antennas. They have a website, chameleonantenna.com, where you can see all the different products that they have. All their stuff is made in the USA, which is always nice to see. And they seem to be very active on the Google Plus uh, network. I've uh, seen several posts from them, and they are very active uh, when it comes to uh, commenting on uh, people using their antennas, if there's any kind of issues or anything like that. I've seen a lot of conversation back and forth. So it's good to see a company that's very open like that. Uh, the price of the F-Loop, as you see it here, is $365. That's including free shipping, and that is as of today, May 3rd. Always subject to change, but that's what it is on their website right now. Now the antenna covers uh, 10 meters through 60 meters. It is a QRP antenna, meaning it's low power. The max sideband power is 25 watts, uh, 10 watts CW. It's easy to assemble. I can have this put together in just a few minutes and um, be on the air, have it connected to my radio, tune it up, and within five minutes, I'm on the air making contacts. It's well made, it doesn't feel cheap. Um, I mentioned it with the, uh, with the unboxing. They're very nice connectors on here, uh, seem to be very well made. They didn't cheap out on them. And the coax also has an RF choke. So that's nice to see on the coax. All the connectors on the antenna itself are just as well made. They're very tight. They seem very solid. Don't think I'm going to have any issues with them whatsoever. Tuning is easily done on the front of the antenna with this tuning knob. And again, that tuning knob is you know, a very nice feeling knob. Doesn't feel cheap, anything like that. I don't think they really skimped on any part to this antenna. It's well made and I just can't say enough about it. The footprint is small and to me that's the biggest selling point of this antenna is its footprint. Where before I've used a vertical antenna, I have radials thrown out on the ground. Those radials present a trip hazard. I operate a lot at parks and things like that. Where these radials can become a trip hazard, it just could be dangerous. I always have to keep an eye out and be mindful where I'm putting my radials, that sort of thing. I've even sometimes not been down to one radial because I just don't want them to be in people's way. So the nice thing about the F-Loop, no radials to deal with, um, just very small footprint. It's all contained in what you see right here. It all fits into a supplied molly bag. This is the bag right here, the one that they sent with this antenna is Condor. It's a Condor Molly bag. Can't say it'll always be a Condor Molly bag, but that seems to be what they are using right now. Very well made bag, heavy duty, plenty of room for the antenna, as well as my 817. I'm able to put the 817 in here, and if I wanted to, just have one grab and go bag for my antenna. Very nice. So the big question is, it's a loop. Not a lot of people um, know much about a loop, and I'll be honest, I don't know a whole lot about the mechanics or the physics behind how it works, but a lot of people want to know how it performs. So I can speak to that a little bit. I used this on 17 meters last Saturday, the second. I made eight contacts uh, for the hour or so I was out there, uh, ranging from Spain, made a contact in California, the contact up in Maine. So those are the longest distance contacts. I was pretty pleased with those, especially the one in Spain. I was thrilled to get a, a, a Spanish station. And there are numerous contacts, you know, in between, uh, a lot out of Texas and the southeast here. So it does work. Works great on 17 meters. I did have a vertical set up as well, and I switched back and forth between the two on receive. Now the vertical uh, did have a slightly higher signal, you know, that I could pick up on uh, 17 meters. 
but there was also a lot more noise. And I think the noise overwhelmed the benefit of the added signal strength. The loop is very quiet, very little noise, and really for the maybe half a S unit that you got out of the vertical, it's not worth it with all that noise. The loop is a much better option. Uh, it's just great. Now, 60 meters. Eh, that's a little bit of a different story. I'm going to be honest with you, 60 meters, the vertical antenna outperformed the loop. But you got to keep in mind, this loop is not efficient. Not very efficient at all on 60 meters. With that being said, I still made a contact with the loop on 60 meters, so it is still an option. It will work, and you can make contacts with it on 60 meters. Just the vertical, um, my report with the vertical was they, they could pick me up. I had a better signal strength with the vertical. But for the size and the portability and being able to make contacts, the loop is an awesome option. So I'm not putting that loop down at all. You just got to be aware that it's not as efficient on 60 meters. It's, it's just not by design. So with all that being said, the quality of the unit, the connectors, um, the type of coax they use, the RF choke, the way it's built, the, the ruggedness of it, how sturdy it feels, I'd say it's a very good option uh, for portable use as well as radar use, uh, rapid deployment amateur radio. The ease of setup and how easily it, easy it is to tune also makes it a big, a big winner in my book. The fact that it has a small footprint is also a plus. You don't have to worry about any radials, uh, nothing to become a trip hazard, anything like that. One thing I didn't mention is a loop is also somewhat directional. So you can also turn the antenna to find the strongest signal. Uh, it's uh, kind of directional off the ends of the loop. So that's nice as well. One thing I also like is how active uh, Chameleon Antenna is on Google+. That's just a nice thing to see. So if you're in the market for a well-made antenna, something that you can use portable, radar even, something that's easy to set up, something that doesn't have a large footprint, something that packs in a small package, the F-Loop may be the antenna for you. So check out their website, chameleonantenna.com. They've got a lot of other antennas on there as well. They've got another loop, the M loop, as well as the F loop. Uh, this is the F loop. Um, just check them out. They've got a lot of the options on their uh, website. So you'll definitely be seeing more of this antenna. This little guy has definitely earned a place in my uh, portable bag. And you'll see more of it on videos and posts in the future. So. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I'd like to say 7-3. Hope everybody enjoyed it. And again, you'll be seeing more of this antenna in the future. So until next time, 7-3, this is Bob KK4DID, signing off.